Welcome to lesson number 17, working with vendor MSIs. Many software publishers use Windows Installer, and many applications, in addition to the well-known setup.exe, come with MSI files. It makes no sense to build an MSI if the application already includes an MSI file. Instead, it is best to customize it using MST files and adjust it to be installed as the user wants. Customization does not imply that this MSI file can be 100% changed. To prevent changing the logical structure of an MSI, changes must be undertaken with extreme caution. Nobody knows how an MSI was built and no one wants to end outcome to deviate from what it was originally. Most software providers deliver the MSI file by default Although this file can alternatively be delivered concealed within the setup. Furthermore, they can send MSP files, meaning patches. Depending on the delivery option, there are several vendor approaches to MSIs. We have direct vendor MSIs where the vendor provides you the MSI directly. We have hidden MSIs in EXE wrappers. And we have hidden MSIs alongside patches in EXE wrappers. The best way to know if a vendor provides an MSI is to keep a close eye on the test manager during installation to see if the MSI exec process is running. We are not going to cover how to determine if a setup has an MSI file or how to find out where it is extracted. However, we are going to have a look over how you can create an MST for an existing vendor. If we open up Advanced Installer and go to New, IT Pros, MST, we can see multiple transform options. The Resource Transform offers the possibility to check what you select during the installation of an MSI and retain the settings. For example, if I have an MSI and I change the installation directory during the install, the Response Transform will get this and add it to the transform. The Delta Transform is designed to save differences between two MSI files into one transform file. For this example, we are going to create a transform from scratch. So let's go to New Transform. Advanced Installer will ask us to select the MSI for which we want to create the transform file. So select it and click Open. Also, I would like to add a new file so you can see how files are added with transform files. If we go to the files and folders page and add a new file somewhere in the directories, you can see that nothing happens. But now, if I save the MST file by clicking the save button on top, you can see that data1.cab, which contains the new file, has been created near the MSI and the MST file. So, when you deliver this package to your customer, you must give them the MSI, the MST, and the CAP file. Also, you can modify custom actions, for example, add new ones, delete the existing ones, or modify the sequence, and so on. That's it for this video. In the next one, we will have a look over the MSI exec comments.